Hello and welcome to the workshop. On today's episode, we're going to do an experiment using water balloons. If you guys want to see how many attempts that took, go see the latest episode of the vlog. It was absolutely hilarious. Okay, on today's episode, we are going to do some experiments with water balloons. Now, I'm not sure if you guys saw Jedrick's video last week where he made a diorama of popping a water balloon in resin. Now, he made the whole thing out of resin. There was no water involved, but it really got me thinking that could it be possible to actually do it? Could you pop a water balloon inside of resin? Now, you guys know that I've done a lot of water balloon and water uh, experiments in the past. I've done the full water balloon where we just cast it in resin. I've injected water inside of resin. And of course, my biggest video of all, the ice inside of resin. All right, I'm going for it. Here goes. Now, although they were quite fun experiments, I reckon this one is gonna be the best because releasing a whole bunch of water inside of hot resin, that's probably a bit disastrous to be honest. So I'm gonna to have to make sure I've got all my safety gear on just in case something bad happens. But I think the first thing we need to do is we're gonna fill up a couple of these water balloons and then we can stick them down inside a cup. Now I don't want to fill these ones up too much because our cups aren't very big and we don't want to just fill it all with water. We do want a fair bit of resin in there. So that's one done. And that's the second. So now that we've got our two balloons, let's go glue them in the cups. Now to glue these balloons down, I'm just going to use some two-part five-minute epoxy. Well, now that I've got both my balloons glued into the cups, we can start mixing up some resin. But I think just to be safe, I might leave these to cure overnight. That way when they start to float, they won't pop off. Okay, it looks like that glue's held well. So the next thing we need to do is mix up our resin. Now, before I get into that, I just wanted to show you guys my safety gear. I've got my face shield, I've got a respirator, I've got a heat glove, a real long one here, and I've also got a heat sleeve. Now, that's to go on my arm, just in case uh, this resin does go bang. I don't want it landing on my arm, so that's all my safety gear. Now, as for the resin, we are using a two-part epoxy resin. This is Art Car Slow Set. Now, the reason I'm using this one is because we know that uh, it can generate a fair bit of heat, which is what we want, because we are doing an experiment after all, aren't we? So we want to see a bit of action. So that's the plan. So let's get our mixing cup and get this resin poured. Now we do know from past experiments that this resin will take about half an hour to heat up. Now it is a bit cooler at the moment, it is winter, so it may take a little longer, but I do have my heat gun here, so we'll be able to check it. Now, since I have got a bit of time, I think what I might do is I might quickly turn myself an egg while I'm waiting for this to heat up. Okay, we're starting to heat up a little bit. Let's see what the temp's at. We're at about 45 degrees. So we're getting there. I think what we might do is leave this for about another five or 10 minutes, and then we'll pour it into the cup. Now I don't want to pour it in when it's red hot because it will get to about 150, 160 degrees Celsius. So we'll give it about 10 minutes, we'll pour it in, and then we'll let the rest of the heat generate inside this cup. I think we're hot enough now to start pouring into this cup. And hopefully the balloon stays attached. The 
Okay, I think that's looking pretty good. I might quickly duck next door and give this remaining resin to Nicole. Now my plan is, once this resin's hot enough, I'm going to jam a pin through the side of the cup here. Now, it doesn't quite penetrate easily enough, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to heat up this pin a little bit, just so it melts the cup, so we can get right in on that balloon. Now, as we know from watching pot cans, we know that the resin cures from top to bottom. So hopefully we can create a bit of a hard layer on top, the bottom stays a little soft, and that's where we can go in. I think I better pop it on a silicon mat as well, just in case. So what do you think will happen? What's your predictions? Pause this video and let me know in the comments. I've got to admit, I'm really nervous about this one. It's been a while since we've done an experiment. I just keep thinking back to that water episode where the resin blew up on me. Look at that, this thing is... Oh! And this is a lot more water. So hopefully we can stay safe. I have just had an absolute last minute change of plan. I've decided to stick my needle to this ruler to give myself a bit of distance and I've decided to not hold on to it and I'm just going to try and do it from afar because the more I think about this, the more I just think it's not a good idea. So uh, let's, you know, take a bit of safety precautions, I guess. And hopefully now I can do it, you know, back here. Okay, it's getting really hot to touch now. I can start to see a little bit of steam starting. I'd say we're only about a minute away, maybe two minutes tops. Okay, heaps of steam coming off it now. That can flash cure any second, so we're just going to heat our needle up and get ready to go. We're solidifying on top. Wow, that's super hot. We are right there. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Oh no, I'm going to have to hold it. Oh no. Quickly hit this back up again. Here we go. Oh, we're in. the water that was perfect I was expecting a bit of an explosion on top here but it's perfect we waited the perfect amount of time for this resin to be set on top and look at that we have captured the water perfectly in the middle and the balloon on the bottom amazing let's see what the temperature is at now we've cooled down a little bit 137 Celsius Wow, that looks so cool. It's definitely better to have all this and not need it than to need it and not have it. That was amazing. I really didn't know what to expect. So you can see on top here, the water broke through and come out of the top, so I'm not too sure. I think we might have to try this again. So I was just showing Nicole the slow-mo footage of the balloon. What did you think of that? Yeah, it was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah. Now, I'm a little disappointed that we created like an air gap and the water come out of the top there. So we do have the spare or the backup. So what do you think? Should we try it again? I think you should try it again. Maybe leave it a bit longer this time. Yeah, I think we're going to leave it until the top is like really hard, mm. just so it can't break through the top there. So... I think we need to mix up some more resin and get this second one going. I think what I might do is I might mix this resin off camera and then once it's really hot and ready for the pin to go in, we'll come back and check it out because you guys don't need to see all this again. While I'm waiting for this resin to heat up, I modified my poker. 
So I've got a real nice sharp edge on there and I've stuck it in this piece of wood just to stop the flop of the uh, ruler. So we should have a better pop this time or a more efficient pop, I should say. So you'll notice this time that I've poured quite a lot of resin above the balloon. And that's because I'm hoping that the top half uh, gets really cured so that when we do pop it, no water escapes. It's getting quite warm, so we're not far away now. Okay, we're nearly ready. The top is quite hard. But as you can see down here, we can still push it in. So I'm just going to heat up the poker and then get ready to go. All right, we're going for it. I hope it works. Whoa. That was a cool one. Now we just got to hope that the water stays here. We don't want it to escape. That one made a little bit of a fizz sound too. Wow. That was definitely better than the first one. That was cool, and it looks like all the water is trapped. Check this out. This has now been about 20 minutes since we did it, and the top of the resin, hard as a rock. Yet down here, still soft and squishy. Who would have thought there could be such a difference in resin from top to bottom? Well, we've come to the end of another episode. I really hoped you guys enjoyed this little experiment. We haven't done one for a while. And if you guys can think of an experiment that you want me to try, please let me know. Now, taking a look at our little piece here, I think it looks amazing. We managed to trap all the water inside the resin there. And our little balloon split down the bottom, you definitely know what happened in this cup. Now, if you guys like this video, please let me know by hitting the like button. And if it's your first time here and you like what you see, hit subscribe. I put out new videos every week. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.